and now we're gonna cover the lid and outside gonna cover the lid first And this one going to be inside right there. Now I'm going to cover in the bottom. I'm gonna cover around the can here. Gonna lie up for the edge, the edges here. Okay.
gonna use my hot glue to um, close the gap between this one. It a cardboard the bottom, so it's really easy for you to manipulate it. See there. You want to hide this? You can. Um, I can use the uh, trim around the edges here, so it doesn't matter. But I want to. It look to be. Um, I want it to look nice. Copper. See there at the bottom. Okay, um, I use my regret trim that I cut it apart, like this one here, I cut it apart, and I'm going to use it, I'm going to adhere around uh, my lid here, I use my hot glue. using the trims you know why because it's kind of ruffle and it's small it's not too big that's why I like to use this one I haven't used different color yet but I love using the white one here
Now I'm going to use my Velcro for the crochet here. gonna close this one and put that one there so see this one can be a uh, crochet the wool curl see there Hi ladies, it's here the, the finished uh, project that I did ultra. It's so pretty guys, I love it. And you can see the inside, see? Um, I'm gonna put all the link down below for you ladies that are uh, all the, the product that I used on this project so you guys uh, can find it easier. And I use my cherry bottom jelly blossom flower gardenia or everything here from my store my uh, regret trim and limestone trim but this button is not for my store from stamping up button the paper collection that I use from Kane company on this one the water bouquet paper uh, pattern paper that I use this so pretty I love this paper and what you know what this you guys can add the feet too if you guys want to make the box higher or you just leave like that it's so pretty i love it okay lady um don't forget to check out my uh the photo of this project on my facebook or on my blog all right ladies thank you for keep watching my video bye